mainstream media controlled by half a dozen corporations, handful of corporations controlling 80 or 90% of everything you hear. There's a result. The result is you have a populace that is lost in uh, pop culture fantasy land. You know, they don't know about the fact that we're now providing air cover for Al-Qaeda in Libya. They know everything there ever was to know about the unfortunate demise of Elizabeth Taylor. They don't know that Wall Street is continuing to uh, plunder this country by buying up the same derivatives they created uh, that sank the economy of the world. Now they're going to buy them up at a profit. But they do know everything there is to know about how the brackets are working out in March Madness. The, the first story I want to cover is this Al-Qaeda in Libya story. John Bolton, who is a uh, uh, potential GOP candidate in 2012, former UN ambassador for the United States, recently quoted as saying, if we don't get Gaddafi, we're going to end up with another terrorist hotspot in Libya. Al-Qaeda is going to be operating in Libya. Now, it doesn't matter that Tony Blair went there in 2004 and decried that he was you know, an integral partner on the war on terror. It doesn't matter that George Bush uh, Jr. established normal trade relations with him in 2005 or Condi Rice paid an official visit there in 2008 because that's history you know and in pop culture fantasy world 2008 was an eon ago so now we're concerned about uh, pop culture events of today but we're not and we're going to believe john bolton when he comes out and says you know we got to get the terror loving terrorists who are in libya so as our bombers continue to drop bombs and we send cruise missiles and we launch uh, sorties into that country uh, what are we doing are we helping to uh, advance democracy in that region of the world well, according to uh, the commander on the ground of the rebels, a Mr. Al-Hasidi, um, we are providing air support for Al-Qaeda. A lot of his fighters have been recruited right off the front lines of Iraq. They're over there shooting at Americans in Iraq. Now they're over in Libya trying to topple Qaddafi. So John Bolton's kind of right. We are going to topple Qaddafi, and we will have yet another uh, hot spot in the Middle East that uh, produces rage against America. But don't you see, that's the whole point. We aren't trying to spread democracy. We're not trying to s set up a, a government of, by, and for the people of the nations of the Middle East. We're trying to create more chaos there so we can keep the oil supply cheap and easy and in control of the big corporations who are paying off the politicians to bomb countries like Libya. And as this continues in the Middle East, as we're distracted by the events going on in the Middle East, as we're distracted by you know, movie stars passing away as we're distracted by March Madness. We are not paying attention to what's going on uh, to our financial future. We're not paying attention to the fact that we're being sold further down the river to the same banksters who brought us here. And what I'm talking about, you know, these names are going to sound familiar. Uh, PIMCO, BlackRock, Barclays, Credit Suisse, Goldman Sachs, Polson's and Company. All these names sound familiar because they were, uh, you know, front page news in the 2008 collapse. These are all com companies that were integral uh, in uh, bringing you the collapse of 2008, bringing you the demise of the financial system of the world uh, because of their packaging things like uh, uh, mortgage derivatives and selling them off around the world. Well, now, since they made all the money on the way up, and then they made it on the way down because they bet against them and put the debt on the back of the citizens of the world, well, now it's time to make some more money on these once again. So they're lining up to make bids to the Federal Reserve for a bunch of these same products that they created uh, at a steep, steep discount. And oh yeah, they're going to make a ton of commission up front when they uh, sell them off uh, to their investors who are all sold out on the notion that, that America's back, baby, because we're 12000 on the Dow. Stories are attached. That's all I got.